Well, well, let's review the new traction system that Microtech has recently presented called SureTrack, which we have been testing and I think it brings very interesting things. This would be the system, it comes packaged like this. It is a clip that is attached, held on one of the blades, a multiband traction system that is already hooked, pre-hooked on the, on the blade. This is how it comes. Well, you are going to see now how this is designed for a working channel of a therapeutic endoscope. For a 3.2 millimeter, because it basically comes with colonoscope length, because it is basically designed for colonoscopes, but now you will see how it can be used with another type of working channel. And it comes in a blister pack like this, already assembled and presented with the clip open. And as you can see here, the clip comes with its multiband traction system already attached and ready. It is hooked to one of the clip's legs and has four rubber bands, four rubber rings side by side. This model is actually a second version. I don't remember if the first one ever reached the market in Europe. The, the Shure track system, as you can see here, only two rubber bands attached. And moreover, it was a Shure clip clip, which is the second uh, brand let's say of microtech clips you know you have the locados which would be the premium clips and the short clip in this version as you can see here they have directly jumped it has four rubber bands and they are also mounted on a locado clip which as you know is a much more resistant clip with much more body and has the blades and teeth to attach in a much more effective way and and the idea is once you have made your uh, circumferential cut and want to apply traction just go place the clip which is already mounted on one of the edges and from there we can take a, uh, any of the the plastic rings uh, to attach it to the opposite wall and apply traction or even since it is a long system we can perform other different types of edge to edge or multi-point traction as we will see now first practical case and we are passing the system through a 2.8 channel you have seen how it takes a little effort but it passes perfectly with a 2.8 it does not break and it does not it does not stretch and does not cause any problems i see several potential advantages in this system first look how well it rotates it rotates like a normal locked clip that is it rotates very well and and that what also mavario coro as you see here being attached to one of the blades, we can rotate it perfectly with the blade open to aim well and position it exactly where we want to put it without it falling, because this is very typical. As you see, how many times has this happened to us, that we are going to place the traditional system of traction with a rubber band. You go, uh, you go with all the care in the world, open the clip, position yourself well, up, uh, because we move it gently, position yourself well where you are going to put it, and now when you go to put it, well, the rubber band jumps and goes off to live its life. And now we've lost it, we have to go here, gravity has dropped it, we have a puddle of liquid, we have to go find the rubber band, we have to reattach it and it's undoubtedly a bit more complex and a bit more cumbersome than when it's already tied as you've seen and we can put it on easily. Second thing, second very interesting advantage, the second dictator of the fogo is associated with the four of since it has four bands, you can choose what traction force you want to use. So as you see in this gastric case, we have taken the second band and it's a bit short. So let's take the third one. Let's see if the traction it makes against the contralateral wall is the is a correct traction. We we see that we are also falling a bit short because the system is a bit strained and we are probably applying more traction than necessary. And simply, since there are more bands, you, you remove the clip, take the last band, and then you get the correct traction. That is to say, the same system, uh, by already having the four bands set up, will let you choose how much traction force you need to apply at each moment, depending on the injury and the situation you are in. And you see that the system holds up perfectly. It is quite resistant and allows you to apply traction and work with it without any problem. And we would have our traction done without further issues. Let's look at the second case, so, because it also has another potential advantage. This case was recorded with the new Sonoscape 650 system, which has not yet been released to the market, but is about to be, and it is a colon lesion. Look how well it can be seen. The truth is that um, this tube looks quite, quite interesting. We will try it a little more in depth when we can. And, uh, well, it is a medium-sized colon lesion. I really like the traction, and I really enjoyed working with it. We can use a vessel detection mode that, for me, often what I like to do is use it before making the first injection to puncture in a place without vessels. So I usually set up the vessel traction system. Here you see how it works again. I usually put it even before the first injection. I see that there is no vessel and I puncture it. But well, it works for you as you are seeing. Uh, I think all the companies have it. Olympus has theirs, Fuji has theirs, and well, Sonoscape has the, all the big ones already have their vessel and bleeding detection system. 
And uh, well, we have already made the the circumferential cut of the lesion, and we are going to apply the um, we are going to apply the traction. If we are using a 3.2 endoscope, so the map up kernel, so this passes perfectly without any problem. And again, you see how it rotates; it is very precise with the rotation. And the advantage we have is that uh, since it will already be hooked, this is very easy to put on. It won't fall off when you go to place it, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, another advantage I see is that you can do multi-point traction. And what does this mean? Well, since it is long and has several bands, what we are going to do in this case is uh, take uh, the traction to one of the edges of the of the scar. Um, carefully, we take another second clip, another lock, uh, the the last uh, the last band, and place it on the other edge of the of the wound. So we have the lesion held with two clips, and now we take a third clip go to the center of the traction system and we are going to the contralateral wall and so uh, what we achieve is a multi-point traction which you will see creates a much more homogeneous traction and lifts the lesion as if it were a carpet and it will allow you well to have a lesion of a certain size anchored and completely lifted with just one clip by inflating more or aspirating more we can adjust the traction strength and well, I find it very interesting to be able to do multi-point traction and above all, it's a system that will give us a lot of flexibility because we can adjust the amount of tension or perform multi-point traction, attach each of the rings to one of the ends of the piece and go, as in this example you've seen, to the contralateral wall and perform a horizontal and homogeneous traction. As you can see, now a magnificent field exposure allows us to work, pretreat, and cauterize the vessels. A new traction system that I wanted to review with you, which is coming to us, and each person will have to test if it suits their way of working, but with three potential advantages. First, it comes pre-assembled and doesn't fall, it's easy to set up. Second, we can choose the capacity or the traction force for each of the lesions. And third, the possibility of doing multi-point traction. I hope you are a bit intrigued by the new traction system. And well, if you try it, I would love to hear your comments.